You are listening to KSV podcast. This is a short, crisp, concise, exam-oriented, edited editorial for civil services aspirants. In this podcast, we are going to talk about the science behind the cancer cure. Source for the content is Anona Dutt's article for the Indian Express. In a medical trial, results of which were published in the Indian Express on the 8th of June 2022, 12 patients in the United States were completely cured of rectal cancer without requiring any surgery or chemotherapy. The trial used a monoclonal antibody called dostalimab every three weeks for six months for the treatment of a particular kind of stage 2 or 3 rectal cancer. The study was done by doctors from the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York. The study was done by doctors from the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York and its results have been published in the New England Journal of Medicine. So what are the findings? The trial showed that immunotherapy alone without any chemotherapy, radiotherapy or surgery that have been staples of cancer treatment could completely cure the patients with a particular kind of rectal cancer called mismatch repair deficient cancer. All 12 patients had completed the treatment and were followed for 6 to 25 months after that. No cases of progression or recurrence had been reported during the follow-up, the study said. The response too was rapid with symptoms resolving in 81% of the patients within 9 weeks of starting the therapy. Now, what is this deficiency and how was it cured? Mismatch repair deficient cancer is most common among colorectal, gastrointestinal and endometrial cancers. Patients suffering from this condition lack the genes to correct typos in the DNA that occur naturally while cells make copies. The immunotherapy belongs to a category called PD-1 blockets that are now recommended for the treatment of such cancers rather than chemotherapy or radiotherapy. PD-1 is a type of protein that regulates certain functions of the immune system including by suppressing T-cell activity and PD-1 blockade therapy looks to release the T-cells from this suppression. The anomalies in the DNA result in cancerous growths in patients with mismatched repair deficient cancers. If you imagine the immune system to be a car, PD-1 acts as the brakes for the T-cells of the immune system. By giving the PD-1 blockets, we release the brakes and allow the T-cells to destroy the cancerous growth, said Dr. P.K. Julka, former professor of radiotherapy at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, and the current chairman for Max Oncology Daycare Center. Dr. Julka did the first immunotherapy treatment in India while at AIMS in 2015. He was not involved in the U.S. study. India has a couple of PD-1 blockets available, although not the ones used for this study. So if PD-1 therapy was already in use, what's new in this trial? Earlier, this therapy was used post-surgery, but the study has shown that a surgery may not be required. Dr. Julka said, and I quote, Although the therapy is usually used for cancers that have metastasized, that is spread to locations other than where the cancer formed, it is now recommended for all mismatch repair deficient cancers as they result in quicker improvement and lesser toxicity as compared to traditional chemo and radiotherapy. So far, we have been using the therapy after a patient undergoes surgery. It is used for 10 to 15 indications. This study shows that even the surgery was not needed in these patients. Unquote. Speaking about his own practice, Dr. Julka said that in all tumors, they now look for mismatch repair deficiency to see whether immunotherapy can be used. Eliminating other treatments can improve a patient's quality of life by preserving fertility, sexual health and bladder and bowel functions. So finally, how much does immunotherapy cost? An immunotherapy treatment can cost around 4 lakh rupees per month with patients needing the treatment for 6 months to a year. Dr. Julka said that people may end up using their life savings for the treatment. We usually end up giving the treatment only to those who can bank on schemes such as CGHS for sponsoring the treatment or receive free doses from the companies as part of their assistance program. However, he also added that one day cancer will be like any other chronic disease. Like people with diabetes go to work after taking a tablet, cancer patients would too. The future of cancer treatment is molecular oncology. You find a mutation in one gene, you give a particular medicine for it, you find it in another, you give another medicine. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksjinder.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjinder.com.